Hello viewers, welcome to my school. This is my school, Government Girls Secondary School Tutsi. And it's located here in Nigeria's capital, Abuja, here in Africa. I am Mary Cynthia Obera and with me is my friend, Maria Mami. We are here to tell you about our school, to show you our school. So sit back, relax and enjoy the vibe from this school. Come with us. Ride round Uniston. Government Girls Secondary School to say was established in September 1981 but kicked up officially as a co educational institution in January 1982. It started off with a staff strength of 12 and a student population of 72, but presently the school has over a thousand students and about 150 staff. The school has gone for several competitions and have come out successful with various awards. Mrs. Ramatu A. Ibrahim from 1997 to 2005, then Mrs. Fatih B. Salau from 2005 to 2008, followed by Mrs. Hafsat A. Umar, the principal GSS Duse from 2008 to 2011, then had uh, Mrs. Binta Nasser from two, September 2011 to 2010, then to, to the present principal. At Mrs. Habiba Mahmoud Kulu, who started from two September 2011 to date. Here we are with the principal on seat, Mrs. Habiba Mahmoud Kulu, and we are going to have a brief chat with her. So, please, Ma, can you please tell us a brief about how has it been um, being in office of principal in Government Girls Secondary School District? Well, we give it glory to God, the Almighty, that is done our great effort. All it has been occupying the seat of the 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 a leader that is here to lead and guide the student as well as the teaching and the teaching staff all together for the greater height of the school. We observe, we supervise and make sure everything is moving on well, the students are eating well, well, the safety is also there. In fact, we continue to mentor 
so that we don't really have much challenge because while the talking is going on and the teacher learning is on, the students are occupied. Once they are occupied, they can be very, very effectively managed. And that is exactly what we are doing here. We don't really have much challenge. The students around the world are the custodians of the world. With the other ones at the time, they are the ones coming up. They are the future leaders of the world. They don't have any option then. So that by the time it will be their turn to put, they will lead their junior ones perfectly. Right now, as part of the administrative group, we have the VP admin and the VP academic This is the school car park and as you can see the fleet of cars here belong to both teachers and some other visitors to the school. The school bus is also parked right here. Geographical Garden. This is the map of Africa, Nigeria, the Federal Capital Territory where we are, the capital of Nigeria. We have contour lines, we have the volcanic eruptions, the deserted plateau, the dendritic drainage, we have the flood coast, we have the wave erosion and the spore waves and lots more. The students wake up very early in the morning at about 5 a.m., say their morning prayers, bathe and go to their various portions to clean the school. Sanitation in the morning is compulsory for all students. You can see the various students, they are cleaning their portions to make sure that the high sanitation standard of the school is maintained. Assembly ground in my school. The school general assemblies are on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. It is usually conducted by the prefect on duty and staff on duty for the day. The students are given information and news about recent happenings in the school and world in general. They are also mentored and advised on various issues by either a staff or the principal. Immediately after the assembly, students march to their various classes for lectures.
Academically, the student operates the continuous assessment system. The CA is obtained from the student's attendance, assignments, tests, practicals, classworks, and projects. This helps to assess all the domains of learning which are cognitive, affective, and psychomotor. The continuous assessments account for 30% of overall assessment, while formal examination based on what was taught the student accounts for 70%. Every student is expected to score at least 50% in English language and mathematics and four other subjects before being promoted to the next class.
going on there, I some of them play very well, and then we, everybody come out to come. Here is the school field, where both students and teachers of Government Girls Secondary School to see, carry out sporting activities while enjoying their leisure time. In the quest to promote physical, social and mental health of both students and teachers, the school carries out an annual inter-house sporting event, where events like March past by both students and supporters of the houses participate. Here is the Hajo house performing their own March past. We also have the Akela house. You can see the Mamatu house members as they are marching very gallantly. You can see the viewer again. All four hostels lined up accordingly to recite the national anthem. Fatima Hostel on the moon. The staff are not left out in the competition either. You can see the teachers running to win the first prize. One of the most captivating moments of this event is the presentation of the Nigerian cultural dance by the students. Here the students dress in the cultural attires. You can see the ethic displaying their cultural dance, the Fulani, with the principal dancing along with them. We have the Yorubas displaying their rich cultural heritage. You can see the instrumentalists. We have the baggy dancers. You can see the baggy dancers are dancing so well. The Fulani dressed in their cultural attires. We have the principal dancing along with the Yorubas. These are the Igbo cultural dancers. Wow, looking so lovely here is the combination of all cultural dancers coming together to show the unity and diversity we enjoy here in Nigeria as a country. You can see the trophies and the medals here for the winners of the competition, but here in Dutsi we believe that everyone is a winner, so we have enough prizes for everyone. You can see the winners of the day, the Ramatu Hostel members looking so happy as they hold their trophy. Here are some lucky students who have won the scholarship given to them by the Federal Capital Territory Scholarship Board. This right here with them, giving the prize to the students, is the, one of the Royal Highnesses here in Dutsi and the principal. This is the dormitory and you can see the student looking very clean. And marks will be awarded to these hostels based on the level of their cleaning. Enjoy 
to write brown government girls to come to the school too. Popularly known as Unistop by we the students. Having watched that, it would be interesting for us to participate in the German African Media Camp because to be a medium for us to showcase our wonderful school to the world and also acquire skills relating to the media world. From me and my school, we say bye-bye and thanks. <laughs>